Hi friends, welcome to my channel Simple Learning Tips. So in today's video, we'll be discussing a new topic that is organization climate. So in this topic, I'll be covering definition, concept of organization climate, dimensions of organization climate and impact of organization climate. Okay. So first, without much further ado, we'll move on to a basic definition or an understanding about organization climate. Now here I have just given a simple interpretation of organization climate that is it implies the values and perceptions of organizational members regarding their organization and work environment. Okay, So basically you could say that organization climate is like a personality of each and every individuals. Like, you know, each and every individual, their personalities are different. Some people are short tempered. Some people are, you know, fun loving. Some people are funny. Some people are, you know, always happy. Some people are even negative people. Okay. So these are the personality types. Some are brave, except for etc. So like that organization has also different personality. Okay. And this organization climate, it is unique or it is you know different for each and every organization like see just think from an individual perspective for each and every individual there is a different personality it's not that you know two two individuals if even if they stay together their personalities will be different so same way organization climate is different and unique for each and every other companies now, basically, you could say that organization climate means it is the perception of an individual about the organization where he is working. OK, so basically organization climate are a set of unique characteristics and features based on employees perception about their organization. And these perception or these, you know, uh, factors, they act as an important influence in employees behavior. Like, you know, for example, uh, the individuals who are working in Google, they say that Google helps them to be more creative. Like they have the uh, like some individuals, they say that, you know, they have the they have they, uh, the company provides a kind of organization climate where individuals are given at least, you know, some time to think creatively. Okay, this is organization climate. This is an individual from an individual's perspective. Same way Zoom video communication. Okay, when, whenever we say uh, after the pandemic, you know, Zoom video communication, they everybody knows about Zoom calls and everything. Even the school schools are also adopting Zoom calls. So Zoom call basically, you know, an individual will have a perception that, okay, they provide good flexibility and remote uh, jobs as you know, it is all video based a video based conference company so these are some of the perception of an individual about the organization now you might think what is the difference between organization culture and organization climate now i have already given i think i have already uh, recorded some videos regarding organization culture so i'll leave the link in the description box as well as in the icard above here I just want to say what are the various uh, you know similarities or what is actually organization climate and the difference between culture. Actually they are both interrelated. Okay, we could say that organization culture they represent the overall image of an organization and organization climate that is individual's perception about an organization. For example, you know like uh, the same example that I gave. Uh, about Google, uh, you know, we have a perception that, you know, uh, they are an uh, not perception Google's organization culture. I'm just giving an example. OK, Google's organization culture is that, you know, they provide more creativity and they encourage innovations. Now, the same thing as an individual, maybe any anybody who is working there or an individual person, he could feel that, you know, this kind of uh, climate organization climate organization culture can be exhaustive now that is the organization climate that is his perception about creativity he might find it you know this uh, this uh, kind of um, creativity encouragement towards creativity exhaustive he might find it feeling very tired same way in uh, people who are working in remote job 
that is the organization culture okay but some people who are very extrovert and who like to interact with other they might feel it very uh, you know depressing that they are always working from home they might want to go to the office and they might want to interact with the uh, staffs there so that is their perceptive that is the organization climate that an individual think and that will impact his behavior so he might want to shift to a company where you know people has to go to an office where they have to interact with the uh, employees okay so i hope it is clear the difference between organization culture and climate if it is not please let me know in the comment section below now next what is the what are the concept of organization climate now here i have included some concept that is first one general perception basically you could say it is this um, general perception like i i explained previously that it is the perception that people have about the organization where they work abstract and intangible concept now this organization climate it cannot be this concept cannot be quantifiable it cannot be defined in a measurable unit next unique and distinct identity now like i said this explains how one organization is different and unique from each other enduring quality now this means a relatively enduring quality of the internal environment experienced by the organization members that is it has a long term effect on employees next one like it is a multi multi dimensional concept that is there are various dimensions of organization climate like leadership styles you know pattern of communication authority structures etc so these are the various dimensions it's a multi dimensional concept next moving on here i have mentioned some dimensions of organization climate now about this dimensions of organization climate there are various studies conducted by various researchers so uh, i think if you could uh, you know you research it you will you will get it but here what i have included is motivational framework of organization climate now what are the that includes what are the various motives of organization climate like achievement now this shows their concern individuals concern for excellence expert influence now this this is their concern about making impact on others control now this is their concern for power and you know there should be some orderliness there should be some discipline extension uh, these are the you know their concerns for macro issues like their organization goals vision and everything dependency and affiliations now this means you know what is their motivation what are their motivation factors you could say dimensions is they are uh, interpersonal relationships okay how they are maintaining and building their close personal relationships in a workplace so these are the various motivational framework dimensions of organization climate now there are some other dimensions also like rule oriented uh, innovation oriented approach please uh, check that later of or if you want me to explain that particular dimension of organization culture please mention it in the comments box i will explain it in the next video next one impact of organization organization climate now what are the various impact constraint system now constraint system means see in an organization climate uh, you inform employees now these constraint system they inform employees about what kind of behavior will be rewarded punished or ignored okay these are the these are certain constraint systems and these kind of constraint systems of various degrees of rewards and punishments they influence employee behavior suppose you know uh, in an organization there is a culture of you know uh, not allowing employees to have some flexibility in their work timings like they have to work from 9 to 5 that is their organization culture and maybe you know uh, the, the constraint system is that if they are coming late they will be punished and if they are coming you know a little bit early that will be calculated as overtime and maybe they can convert that into a leave next day or something like that you know when they accumulate certain hours so these are the various constraint system and as an individual this can affect your behavior and thus the perception about organization and that becomes your organization climate 
next one evaluation of self and others now this is another uh, factor which will have an impact on organization climate see you all know that in an evaluation process both psychological and physiological factors are affected and you know because uh, all the things related to your performance in an organization will be measured now these things will affect employee behavior and thus the organization climate now then by acting as a stimuli climate can influence uh, you know your uh, the stimulated behavior can influence organization organization climate next by helping the individual to form a perception that is a good organization climate provides higher satisfaction and better relationships a higher productivity level okay so this these things will help individual to form a perception about the organization so all these things impact organization climate so i hope you got an idea about organization climate if you want to go in depth about this please let me know in the comment section below my idea of this video was just to give an introduction about organization to climate organization climate i hope you understood this video if you have any other topics that has to be mentioned please mention in my uh, insta handle you can dm me it is at simple learning tips 2019 if you like this video please don't forget to like share and subscribe to this channel thank you for watching this video and stay tuned for more videos like this thank you